Hey there, welcome back to Steve Sorensen Mechanical. So today I'm going to show you how to test some glow plugs, um, even the hardest to access glow plugs. Get them tested in under a minute, no problem, and um, we'll see what we get. Okay, so we've got a Hyundai i30 diesel here today. So the customer's complaint with this one is on a colder morning, it just has a very slight um, rough start for only a few seconds there. So being Queensland, it's Monday morning here about 8.30 or so and it already feels like it's the surface of the sun. So I don't think it's really one that we're gonna get the, the, the symptom and it's not really worth doing too much with it. But what I am gonna do is test the glow plugs. So on a modern common rail diesel, um, the glow plugs aren't really needed for starting, they're more of an emissions device. Um, the i30, I have heard that it can have this little stutter for a few seconds, so they do rely on their glow plugs a little bit, but um, either way, I think it does fit with our symptoms, so I think it's the best thing to test. So we'll do it in real time here, so I can show you how to fit this, and we're going to use the Pico scope, and we're going to hook up and test if well, firstly, if any of the glow plugs are working, and then we can do a calculation with how many amps it's drawing, and we'd be able to tell how many of the glow plugs are working. So here's my little diagnostic cart. So I'm gonna open up PicoScope. Uh, already pre-selected, so it's got one channel going. So channel A is on a voltage of 20 volts. Um, I'm gonna bring in a second channel because I wanna watch amperage as well. So I'm gonna tell it that I'm gonna be using my 60 amp current clamp and I assume that it's going to need all 60 of those amps, most likely being glow plugs, fairly high consumers. So I'm going to grab channel A. <coughs> I'm going to use the block earth, so that's going to basically test the earth of the glow plugs as well. If I see 12 volts getting to them, and I'm using that earth, then I know that that's good earth. Just grab out a back probing pin. Glow plugs on this one are down the back of the engine there. Quite nice to get to, but I think you'll see the value in this test in something that is extremely hard to get to. Um, not the kind of thing that you'd want to pull out and and um, manually do an ohms test and then find, oh no, they're all good, that wasn't a, a good use of an hour. Okay, so we're into the back of that one. And on channel two, grab my low amp clamp, I'm not expecting over 60 amps. Turn it on, I'll make sure it's zeroed on here. You can see there's our zero line, I'm gonna press zero anyway, just make sure it is zeroed, we're good to go. Um, I'm on a time base of 100 milliseconds, you can see it every now and then flicking over a page. Pretty much too quick, we're not really after speed here. We wanna see things that are happening over time. So I'm gonna put it on one second per division. So our blue channel one is gonna be able to read 20 volts at one second per division. And our red channel two is going to be able to read 60 amps and it's at one second per division as well. Not too concerned about a, um, an actual sample rate because glow plugs, you know, they're slow as hell. We're, we're going to see the whole event. So I'm going to put this on, I don't know which direction it could be, I could be going negative or positive polarity, it just means that the current clamps are either going to show up or down on the graph on here, but not a big problem. So just wait till it gets through to the next trace, so we get a, a nice, good trace. I'm going to turn the ignition on, so I can see my 12 volts there, I'm getting a Call that no amperage at all, you know, if you want to get picky, you can draw curses in, that kind of thing, but we're down here at nothing, whereas up here I am getting 12 volts. If I was to start the car just to see the point, there we go, you can see it turn off because the ignition was on for so long, I've started the car, still nothing happening, so I'd be quite confident saying to the customer that we've got forward bed glow plugs, um, you can take them out, you can own sets and that kind of thing, but it's a quick easy test to show that. So I'll get the new ones for you and we'll review the test. Okay guys, so we've got our four old glow plugs out and we've got some new glow plugs here. So we'll do the old school resistance test just to prove that our method is sound and um, we'll see what results we get. Yeah. 
Okay, so that's an open circuit glow plug. Another open circuit. Another dead one. And for the set, all dead. If we get our new one, let's stabilize. So about 1.7 ohms or so. So it's a good new plug. We'll get the four in and we'll redo our tests on the scope and see what results we get. Okay, so we've got four new glow plugs in there. So we should see an amperage reading now. So I'll turn the ignition on and we'll see what we get on the scope. Ignition on. So we can see it apply 12 volts. Uh, we got up to not, not a huge amount, but only we'll call that 15 max. And then as the heat of the glow plug gets hotter, the resistance increases and the amperage comes down. And it's decided, okay, you had the ignition on for long enough. I'm going to turn them off. I'm going to start the car now. Let's turn those glow plugs back on.